today we're going to do a little breakdown of a bunch of little videos, just a little roundup of just some hilarious videos I saw that really demonstrate the circus that we're all a part of, willingly or unwillingly. So first, let's just dive in. We got the C-SPAN footage of Biden touching young girls flagged as child sexual exploitation by Twitter. Users account locked made to delete tweet. So if you haven't seen this video, it's a classic video. It's a little old. Just, just watch these parents notice this is going on. Look at this guy especially. Stone-faced while he knows what's happening. How creepy this Thank is. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking creepy. All right, well, nice to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you back home, I hope. And then it goes on. There's a whole, there's a whole highlight reel of this stuff. But anyways, it gets posted. I tried to respond with a video of evidence of how Biden interacts with women and little girls, but Twitter flagged me for trying to post images of child molestation. I guess Twitter agrees with JV Grice. Yeah. So, whatever, take it all with a grain of salt. Twitter might have some weird algorithm issues. The clip was characterized by Twitter as prohibited content that violates their child sexual exploitation policy. I didn't even know they had one because I could have sworn they were just a bunch of creeps. Regardless, we'll move on. That's not the, that's not the interesting ones. We got this little breakdown meme. Got Glenn Coffey, Colin Kaepernick, both born in 1987. Both played for the San Francisco 49ers. Both drafted in the third round. Glenn Coffey gave up millions of dollars in an NFL career to serve his country. Colin Kaepernick refused to stand for the national anthem because the American flag oppresses black people. And now he makes $19 million a year. Who's the real hero? Now another thing, too, is like, I don't know if you guys have seen, but they play something called the Black National Anthem now. Like, what is that? Like, the national anthem is the black national anthem. The national anthem is the national anthem for everyone. It's just, this guy sucks. F fuck you, Colin Kaepernick. But also, <laughs> all their gear is made in sweatshops, concentration camps. Oh, if it's not made in Honduras, because this was uh, like 15 years ago, it's made by Uyghurs in China. You... There's so much evidence about all that stuff. Like Nike, the shoes are made by concentration camp workers. Where do these people get off acting like the high horse? Where do they get off acting like the moral high ground? It's so crazy. They want to spread and support BLM, fight against American slavery while they are act actively participating in modern slavery? Go fuck yourself, Nike. These articles are starting to sound less like thoughtful commentary and more like threats of violence. I noticed this too. Have you noticed this? Here's the Washington Post article. Perspective. The election will likely spark violence and a constitutional crisis. In every scenario, except the Biden landslide, our simulation ended catastrophically. What? In my new The Atlantic piece, The Atlantic, you must you probably know them from bringing up all that bullshit that supposedly Trump called American soldiers suckers. In my new The Atlantic piece, I argue that even strict law and order Republicans have an interest in Biden winning. If Biden loses, mass unrest is more likely because the left will have more difficulty accepting the results. It really does start to sound like a threat. And you remember Michelle Obama talking about her shit where she was like, you gotta vote for Biden like your life depends on it because it does. It's like whoa, 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 chill, lady, like, or dude, or whoever you are, Michael Obama. I don't know. That's a whole nother can of worms. But regardless, don't you don't you think these are a bit much? Unless Biden wins, there's gonna be unrest. Like look at look at all these protests and riots and all the unrest that has existed. It hasn't been Trump supporters doing it. You can point to a few occasions where Trump supporters have done protests, but they weren't violent. They didn't burn buildings down. They didn't have a death toll. They didn't have a death toll larger than the amount of unarmed black men shot by police in 2018. 
19. All right, but let's get to the funny videos because this is all just a lot of serious circus noise. Uh, Trump's going to win by a landslide, I believe. I, I don't even know if Biden will even be in the election. But after the debates, I think it'll be set in stone. Maybe maybe some crazy thing happens. Maybe aliens come down there like, hey, vote for Biden. Suddenly everybody does. I don't know. What, I don't know what it could be. But regardless, let's move on to watch this highlight reel of just the most ridiculous things I've seen recently. So here is uh, Peace Horse. The this is the legend of the of the Peace Horse. He rides for peace. Oh shit! <laughs> I forgot which one this one. This one's fucked up. Damn! Just in the middle of the riot. Just oh shit! Well. This is the beginning of the legend of the Peace Horse. Because the Peace Horse keeps riding, if you notice. Where does the Peace Horse ride to? Oh shit. Look out, people. It, Peace Horse is coming. Look out, run. Oh shit, it's Peace Horse. Boom. Oh shit, fuck you. Damn. Damn. This is in the UK, I believe. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's not going to happen in Texas. We know how to ride our fucking horses. Jesus. Damn, yeah, that lady with her, that sucks. Peace Horse maybe is kind of a douchebag. Damn. But maybe Peace Horse is like, all right, fuck this. Fuck London. I'm getting out of here. I do think it's funny how their, their cop cars are just so goofy looking. Their cop cars look like they're like cars on the set of a Marvel movie that are being used for special effects. All right, let's check this out. This is ridiculous. This could also be staged, but I just think it's so ridiculous regardless. Yeah, just the way that it's like so perfect, it makes me think that it's staged. And he almost looks like he's like about to laugh. Like, like, like that right there, it's just retarded. Plus the idea of these masks, like they're like wearing like two masks to be able to do this, it's just stupid. <laughs> Alright, but speaking of drinking with a mask. I'm going to drink your milkshake. Hey, whoa, what, what if you had COVID? Nazi lives don't matter. Damn, this queen. Yas, bitch, slay. Mamao. That is the ultimate power move. Now, what, what I don't think is real, I don't think she's seen There Will Be Blood. I don't think it's her type of movie. But that is just hilarious. I can't believe that. The balls, the cojones. Also, outdoor patios. What the fuck you guys doing? Outdoor patios are nice when the weather is nice. And now I can't go to the outdoor patio to eat my food because a bunch of you douchebags are going to come ruin my meal. Fuck you. All right, then we're just going to wrap it up. This is an old clip, but I just think this is so insane. And you can almost throw this in with all these other clips just because it's just it's just that preposterous. Oh wait, wait, we have another one. We have this one before we watch the final one. So this is what it's like to ride public transportation. If you've ever been to like Chicago and ridden some of this stuff, you'll have like people do these weird performing arts stuff. And then like you also get like people like rap. They'll like walk up and down the aisles like you know what the deal is, you know what it is. And they'll like rap out to you like the Bible sometimes. Sometimes they preach. They just walk up and down. What's just crazy is that this guy is, is getting a sweat on. And he's just like running that. <laughs> he's getting sweat everywhere. This other guy is freaking out about germs. It's probably in New York if I had to guess. But anyways, let's watch this ridiculous clip. You've probably seen this before, but if you haven't, I dare you to guess what's about to happen. I dare you. Damn, what? Did somebody just running dropkick Arnold Schwarzenegger? Did somebody just run up 
and just straight missile kick, flying missile kick him in the back. I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger came out and talked about this, and he said it felt like somebody threw a chair at him. He's like, what? What was that? Oof. Yeah, what? And that big boy just grabs him. But what did this guy think he was doing? Did he really think that Arnold is actually the Terminator? And that he would bounce off? I don't know. This I've never understood this. So what happened? Maybe I heard he was maybe mentally handicapped. But regardless. Alright, that wraps up this. This was just supposed to be fun. Just a bunch of noise. If you support this kind of stupid noise type content where I find all this stupid noise and you can laugh at the noise. You can check out my description to support it. Uh, shout out to all my supporters. I'm very, very, very thankful. It blows my mind the amount of support that you guys offer for this kind of stuff. But I think uh, people have different tastes. Some people like the crazy theories like mud floods. Some people like the news that's more Pizza Gate related or like General Flynn related. Some people like just the crazy clown world in general, which we're all unwillingly attendees of. So I guess enjoy the show. Take everything you see with a grain of salt. Stay vigilant. Exercise. Eat right. Be a good person. Call your mom. Peace.